Okay, so I'm putting a new spool of filament on. This was a brand new spool. It was shrink wrapped, vacuum wrapped, just like uh, just like this package here. Vacuum vacuum packed with a desiccant moisture absor absorber inside and it has been snapping repeatedly so I have no doubt that uh, as I do this on camera it's going to keep snapping as it was doing before. Now um, I want to note that I've had these spools of filament for a long time like over three years and in the order I made I, I placed an order for different kinds of um, different kinds of PLA filament but really the uh, the largest difference was a, a breakdown in between two kinds PLA and PLA plus some were labeled as PLA and some were labeled as PLA plus of course I don't exactly know what goes into those blends, and I don't even know, honestly, if uh, you know I can trust the the PLA filament to be pure PLA either because it's they weren't like a super well known brand. I was testing a bulk uh, PLA from just like this large bulk manufacturer, so. I put in a large order, got, got a bunch of different spools in one big order, and it's taken me a while uh, to chew through all that because I haven't been so consistent uh, printing. Actually, I'm, I, I, should, I should go like this since my face is not in frame. I can uh, pretend that I'm talking like this. Maybe draw a little googly eyes on my... I should... Let's see. Can I draw some eyes with this wax? wax crayon here uh, look more like eyebrows uh, so anyway um, what was I saying I've had this filament for a long time now some of you might say well you got to expect that filament to break if you've had it for so long but actually uh, that's that's not true lots of the filament that I've had uh, like this brown filament you see behind me here. Uh, I only just opened that, you know, a couple weeks prior to using this silver. So I've had both of those spools of filament for the, the same amount of time. So they were used at about uh, practically the same time. So they've, they've spent just about the same as much time in their packaging and the brown did not break at all at all and i compare that to lots of other filaments that i've printed with and some of those uh, filaments i would leave loaded into the printer uh, during times of inactivity and some of them would eventually break under the own tension, their their own tension, um, the the tension that's created when the filament is initially created and spooled up onto the spool, it takes a uh, you know a hard set into this coil form, this coil that's formed around the spool, so it kind of wants to maintain that curvature and it can only bend a certain amount before it fatigues or just breaks and the brown I left up for a while it was just strung from from here to the extruder uh, you know weeks at a time I, I left it took me a while to get through that spool maybe I don't know a month or so I don't know but uh, it spent a lot of time just sitting there could be more than a month could be two months I don't know. Anyway, uh, the point is, it didn't break sitting up there. It didn't break trying to load it. 
it was pretty durable. Some other filaments were the same. They could sit during periods of inactivity and I didn't even have to bother unloading it and putting the the spool in a uh, a dry case or anything like that. Other filaments would start to fatigue and break right away. The the tension set into their coil would cause it to weaken at one point and then break within about a day or so. But this one, this silver, this silver filament is a brand new spool. So it should be easiest to work with when it's brand new because it's tougher once you start getting to the end of a spool because the spool, the, the coil is tightly wound around the core, meaning there is a smaller diameter, a smaller radius that the filament is bent at. And when you try to straighten it so that it can go into a printer through the extruder, it is more likely to break because it has to bend more away from the initial uh, diameter or radius that it was coiled at. So right now, this silver should, should not be breaking the way that it is, but uh, let's take a look. Uh, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times. Seven times. It doesn't look like I'll be able to load this. Into the extruder. Now, I also want to mention that the whole point of my setup being like this is so that the filament can have a more gradual um, introduction into the extruder, meaning it doesn't have to take an extreme angle. It doesn't have to bend in an extreme way. When you place your spool, your filament, further away from the printer, you can have a, um, a less, a less extreme bend going into the little extruder area. So even set up like this, it's still, it's still breaking like this. If this spool was directly in front of the printer, like, like some setups are, it might be easy to load it at first, but then once, once the extruder starts to move up a little bit, that the angle that the spool is loading at becomes really extreme really quickly. So you would definitely get some breakage there if your filament is giving you any sort of trouble at all. So the fact that it's not even working like this is pretty telling. So I don't think I'm going to be used, be able to use this entire spool of material, at least not, not in this way. I'll have to find another way to uh, make use of it, maybe with the 3D pens. So let me try another spool. I've got a few spools left. <laughs> 